Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Belle. This week I'm going to take you along for a couple of days and show you what a life of a uni student and dance teacher looks like. I also go to a concert of Jacob Collier, so enjoy! So today, so far, I had university. We always have to do those kind of discussion groups where we have tasks um, to certain texts that we have to read, like cultural, scientific texts. Um, and yeah, we had the discussion group and basically we put together our little protocol. And now I'm doing my Italian homework. And I'm so dead, I'm so tired, I cannot anymore. Yeah, later on I'm gonna have my dance class for kids. I told you this before, but I teach dance in a gym and it's for kids. Um, and yeah, it's basically like in Ikea, <laughs> you can, like the parents can train so they can give the kids to me. And I'm doing a little bit of sports with them as well. But it's basically just so that the parents have free time. But I think Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoon, children are still at school or in kindergarten, it's not used that often. So I basically have a free room and just do some tricks on my own and for other dance classes. So we'll see later on, maybe I'm gonna film a little bit. But as I said, right now I'm still doing my Italian homework. I'm gonna get ready now and then head to the studio. And I swear today I have just, I don't have energy left on me. And the last times I was so excited and so well prepared, but then again no one showed up and I swear today kids are gonna show up. Today where I have no energy, it's always that way, but still I am just, I have a list on my phone with the things like the lesson I prepared and I just have to check it and then I'm gonna hype myself up with some music and yeah, do something with them. Hopefully. I mean, I would enjoy if this time someone will come to my lesson because last time when I did for ballet for adults, um, it was very nice and there were five, six um, women and they really enjoyed it and they also did it for the first time or just, yeah, and I don't know, they were very happy and it was so, yeah, just so nice and fulfilling to give this lesson, so it really would be nice if someone showed up from the kids, but today I wouldn't be so disappointed <laughs> if no one did, because yeah, then I can just chill and wait a little bit, do some things for my own and then go home, because I have ballet today as well, like training, so yeah, it's a tough day, but let's go. It is currently 5 or 6 and I have to leave in a couple of minutes. Let's just say it like that. But I'm just freshening up my makeup a little bit. Just a regular black top, some shorts and some socks. No dance shoes because it's just for the kids and I just like to have an outfit where they can see what I do but it doesn't have to be anything special and no like nothing too ballet related actually.
Okay, actually, as I told you, today someone would come when I don't have energy, but this child, it was a girl, she was so sweet, she was four years old and she had kind of like a private lesson because no one else came. And we, yeah, ju did just some basics like from ballet and we played a little bit and like, yeah, dance and some positions and everything, but I think she enjoyed it. So you just saw me doing my warm up and then the mom came in and asked if kids dance is here and you don't understand, it gave me so much energy and she was so sweet. So yeah, I'm very happy actually that someone showed up. Maybe I'm gonna practice some turns, but I also have to go because I have practice later on and I don't wanna overdo it and I'm a little bit exhausted, but we'll see. And I didn't film her because I don't feel comfortable filming children and I don't wanna do that. So maybe I will film some other time, but yeah. Now you get some impressions of what I do. some food and I just wanted to say it is crazy how one kid could like literally change my mood from I'm dead I don't have any energy up to the I'm feeling like so nurtured and I don't know I'm just happy and this is so crazy I don't know I think it's very sweet and it's so fulfilling to work with children it is literally so sweet actually and also the girl like in between she was like <laughs> i don't know we as i as i told you we did like basic ballet steps and positions because she was four years old and at that age you cannot do that much with them and it is also like it is fulfilling to work with children but it's also very exhausting because they have the attention span of a goldfish in the best way though but it is crazy because like after one exercise they're gonna be exhausted and they don't want to do this this anymore so you have to do something that is like energizing and run across the room and do some yeah energizing steps kind of so that's what i did and then yeah and <laughs> she told me like in between this was so random we did something in exercise and she she was like you know what my dad once said shit and i was like oh, you cannot say that <laughs> and i was like okay we're gonna do please no um well no it was actually funny yeah so i'm starving i need some food and as i told you i have ballet class like my actual training um in an hour or so yeah actually in an hour i don't have much time and I'm literally so exhausted, like you don't even know and I think I'm just gonna go to sleep very early today because I have Italian class tomorrow at 8.30 I don't know how I did this at school, like waking up at 6am I cannot anymore, it's, it's hard to go to the 8.30am class in university but I think you all know that if you also study so anyways I'm gonna enjoy my this is a vegan um, bolognese, spaghetti bolognese, so I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm getting ready for my training. I'm gonna change because yeah, I want to wear real ballet clothes for my actual ballet class, so let's go! Believe me when I tell you that I'm really not here today. I feel like I'm running in standby modus. I'm so... Dead. and I still have to go to ballet. Yeah, I know I signed up for this myself So I have to go and I also already like said in the group chat that I'm going But I don't have any energy left I just wanna stay in my bed and lay here and sleep But you know what movement makes energy so we're also going on the days we're not feeling it because that's when the training happens and yeah, you just have to show up 
and give our best from that day. And that could be 30% of your usually 100, but you showed up, you've been there, and that's what counts. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna train hard, and then I'm gonna fall asleep. That's a plan. Okay, and this is actually gonna be my fit for ballet now, similar to what I was wearing before. But it's just a basic black leotard. And I feel sportive today, so that's why I'm going with the leggings. And I'm lazy too. <laughs> so, yeah. The socks are nothing too classical. No skirt, no tights. But I just feel like I need this sportive vibe today to survive. <laughs> I am so done right now. I just took a shower. Oh my god, my hair still needs to dry and I have lecture tomorrow morning and I just need to go to bed but practice was better than I expected. I had lots of energy and it was very nice to yeah, do the choreography, get a little bit more secure in what we're doing and now I just really need to sleep and yeah, that's it basically. So, see you tomorrow. I just arrived. I'm back at home and this has been a kind of exhausting uni day but it was also good. I had Italian and then uh, we did something for the musical and we went to the cafeteria and we did some more for the musical and then I uh, got some supplies for the advanced calendar for my best friend that I have to finish now because I have to send it to her so it gets there on the first but yeah I'm just gonna arrive take a break I feel overstimulated I don't know how it is with you but sometimes when you take the tram or just walking in a big city in general and then maybe also with headphones or something I just need to like don't hear anything just sit with myself and maybe a coffee for a minute and then I'm gonna start on doing the advanced calendar. Also some things just arrived in the mail 
and for once like my mom sent me a letter i cannot show you like everything but it's so sweet i'm so excited to open it and i ordered some new workout clothes because yeah as you know usually i look um on online secondhand stores if they have something i want to but this time i couldn't find anything but now i have new yoga pants and they just arrived they have pockets and are a little bit flared and I wanted this kind of because it just looks professional and when I teach and everything and I just felt like I don't have a basic pair of leggings and I also ordered this vest because I'm also going to give a run club and it's very cold in the winter obviously so that's why I have this vest that I can put on quickly It's giving teacher, so I'm gonna keep that. Look how sweet my mom is wishing me a great um, December because I'm not at my family's house. And this is for a tea light. And I believe you can like open those little doors. Wait. Yeah, I think there goes a candle inside and then you have like a pretty picture. I have to try it later on. But how cute. I just realized that I won't have time to do the advanced calendar because Actually, tonight um, I'm going to a film festival. It is hosted by the students of my university and also my study course. And But it's kind of a bigger project. Like People can send in their short film from like all over the world and they host this. Um, if you don't know, I study media and cultural studies, so it is very interesting and I'm very excited to see all the films. And there are also going to be a lot of people from my... Um, study course, so I'm excited to see them because they're very cool. I'm just excited to go. And I just made myself a salad really quickly because I felt like having something healthy. I have kale, chickpeas, a little bit of onion, apple, rice and broccoli. And for dressing I did kind of a honey mustard dressing, but it's vegan and I love honey mustard taste, so yeah, it tastes very good and I'm just gonna enjoy this. And I just made myself a salad really quickly because I felt like having something healthy. I have kale, chickpeas, a little bit of onion, apple, rice. So it is another day. I slept very long, but now I really have to do the advanced calendar. I have all the things here and I'm just gonna do a cute little packaging and send it on its way because I'm already very late doing this. It is the 29th of November. So yeah, it should be there in two days and I think it will fit in time, but fingers crossed. Then I have to go to the gym, it is leg like day today and in the evening I'm going to a concert, so stay tuned. The film festival yesterday was very nice, it is crazy like how international it really is. There were 
short films from Canada, from Brazil, from Estonia and like literally crazy and I don't know if you know this but I have a short film on my YouTube channel which is like really I like the idea and I like the film but it was like my first kind of little artsy project I did um, and it was also shot on my iPhone and thinking about that I submitted it there is like crazy I'm so glad that like, I don't know what they thought about it, because now that I saw the other movies, it were, they were so, so good. And you could vote for your favorite, so today actually is um, the announcement of which film has won. But I'm not gonna be there, as I said, because I'm going to this concert from Jacob Collier. So yeah, let's start working! <laughs> So as I told you, I was at the gym and I did leg day, but I didn't film anything from my actual workout. I just filmed those bits from my stretching routine and those are the stretches that I usually do to improve my flexibility. So I've just been at the gym and I had a really really good session. It is actually crazy to see the progress and to finally feel and see how you develop those muscles. And also after this one year break of dance, I just noticed how I have so much more control over like my balance and turns and just in general the muscles and I feel them more when I dance and I feel like I can dance more precisely and I've never been to the gym when I danced so this is kind of a new feeling and 
I don't know, I am just so proud and also excited because I would have never thought at the beginning of the year that I would get back in my ballet and dance hustle that much and that quickly. Like I had my break for one and a half years and I restarted ballet and then I got the offer to teach and now I'm also at the gym improving my own skills and and yeah I keep on practicing of course like there's still so much room to improve but I'm excited to just do whatever I can and I don't know it fulfills me so much and I just now realized how much I've missed it so anyways my gym session has been very nice I'm now back in my cozy fit and I've made myself a protein smoothie because I was so hungry afterwards so yeah now i'm gonna work a little bit um on the video and maybe do some uni stuff okay this is the fit for the concert i did some blue eyeliner along with blue earrings and some clips and I have my jeans um, with the sparkles so I literally look like a disco ball I have to go, I'm a little bit late as always and I hope I will enjoy it I'm back home now and this has been by far the best concert I've ever been to. It was insane. Like Jacob, I think you, if you know Jacob Collier, you know that he always does this choir with the audience and this time he did an extra piece after the show was finished because everyone was like screaming and everything and he did Blackbird and the atmosphere was so nice and then even after the concert, like the concert itself was amazing from all the musical stuff, like all everything, I don't know, I just can't describe it but the ambiance was incredible and also the band before Jacob, like the opening act, um, it was a woman and she was so incredible she was only there with her bass guitar and she sang but she created such an ambiance only by herself that was amazing and then also the show itself with jacob and he played all the nice songs and everything but then after the show there was just music playing in the concert hall when they 
left and kind of the security stuff and everything started to unbuild the stage but the audience had such high energy still and was still in the singing mood that they kept on singing Dancing in September because that was the song that was playing and it was going on and on and like we were dancing and standing in a circle and then like half of the audience has already left after the concert but we were still there and we were so um, we were so far in the front and then Jacob just came back and he was in the audience within the singing circle I don't know it was the best experience and he's just one of my favorite musicians and yeah it was incredible it was one of a lifetime experiences and I hope I never will forget this evening I didn't film so much because I just simply don't like it when people film so much in concerts and I try to live in the moment and try to enjoy it and I did but I still got some sneak peeks for you so you can see what this experience was like at least a little bit but I'm also so done like my back hurts like hell and I'm gonna go to sleep now so goodbye good night <laughs> oh, just got some now. currently Saturday evening midnight actually today I did a photo shoot with my friend Helena and we had a study date in a cafe it was such a nice day the weather was beautiful it was so cold but so sunny and the sky was all blue and and besides that I just worked on the video and I'm ready to go to sleep again I feel like this sentence has been the sentence I used the most this video but I actually need to go to sleep because I have my running club tomorrow that I give and it starts at 9 but I have to be there early and get ready and everything so yeah I should get some sleep and then I'm gonna give my running club tomorrow but I think I'm gonna end the video here and say thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you next time Bye. The run club was actually a very nice but also humbling experience, like the weather was so good, but only two very motivated guys showed up that knew that no one else would came because it was so cold and they wanted to run for themselves a 10k and said that the run club pace of 6.30 was too slow for them and I was like okay I'm gonna run with you a little bit, um, but yeah left me questioning why I was training the club but in the end I just ran half the way with them and then I went home.